Ah, look at that. We are on our tripod here in Norden. And there's elk everywhere. I counted at least four. One, two, three. And there's another one there somewhere. There are our elk. Look at those wrecks. I think this is the nicest one. That looks awesome too. He has an extra tine. Looks like. There. We have decent uh, concealment here. Check those flat tines there. Awesome. It looks very different. Wow. Those wrecks look great, man. And they should go down. That was a horrible miss. Come on baby, show yourself. Yeah, we hit that for sure. And now probably we can't see the pressure until we shoot four of them. That is crazy. Oh no, I see a little bit of pressure. Let's just uh, keep stationary and see if we can lure them back in. Ah, that's a 4 easy at 172 meters. And that's the second hit, that should go down. Yeah, I can count two here. This one we shot here for the first time, and we have at least two down. <laughs> and, uh, these guys have new racks, so I really want to go and take a look. So let's do that. Space is exit, and we'll check out the new racks. I'm very excited about it. The racks will probably be a bit smaller than the original racks. I have two of those in the trophy lodge, and we have to check to see if they are still there and of course the white tail rex they should be back too uh, we got one lying there down here two actually so let's check them out it's quite different this one is a bit higher than this one very very interesting looking elk this is another elk here this is also quite crazy looking. I love how the tip of the tips of the main beam are in totally different directions. That's very nice. And that's another four, and that is almost dead. Ouch, ouch, don't kill me, don't kill me. So let's pick this one up now. And for this one, we also got the reduced hunting pressure because we were in the stand right there. This is another funky looking one. These two tines are close together, more close together than these two. Because this one is totally going in a different direction, more to the front here. You got an extra time here. That's what uh, I was talking about when we spotted him. So this is an awesome one. And uh, yeah, we've killed three Roosevelt elk here now. 
and the hunting pressure is only 25% of what it was uh, that is only if you are in these tripods or tree stands so that is something to think about and some have already said it might be too powerful but I think it's absolutely necessary if they want these tree stands to work because you're not gonna sit in a tree stand or on a tripod and kill three animals lose your zone and have no animals next time you come to your stand so it's a good thing they nerfed the hunting pressure but it will mean people are right in that it will mean that we uh, will kill more animals with ease so that's the thing Ah, there they are that's a level three and that's a level three but we have to look at them up close so we know what to pick this one looks pretty regular and I can not see mm, he has a somewhat longer G2 on the right side and this guy has a longer G1 it seems let's see the G2 there also looks bigger so let's just uh, try to shoot one that's down can we get a shot on one of the others no no that would be too easy <laughs> to drop another one next to him that would be nice but uh, these ones are still cool and we have to hit it another time Come on, you should go down. You should go down. And that's dead now. So we have two Roosevelt Elks here to pick up. And we're not in a stand, so we can't take no more. So we have the second Elk we shot here. And he has the G3 to the back there. And this one is more upright same with the g4 here it's nothing compared to these level fours but it looks nice this one also doesn't look that special it's almost the same you can see it very well in this uh, pose he has a different uh, tip of the main beam but that's about it pretty symmetrical but that is what you expect I put a tree stand here and I thought this was a good place because there's a Roosevelt elk feeding zone here yeah there is no Roosevelt elk here at the moment they should be here but it's not the case and this is of course the disadvantage you have with these tree stands as opposed to just walking around shooting stuff you are very stationary Ah, there's an elk. There is an elk. It's a level 3 and we're gonna call him in. Talking about a disadvantage. And I think he will come in. Yes. That's nice. That is what we needed. And there are not a lot of trees here you can put your tree stand on. There were some here. But you really need to be, have a open space on a trunk. It's about 16,000 credits for both the tripod and the tree stands, so it's very expensive. And I don't think he wants to come any closer. They should give uh, scent and visibility reduction, these uh, stands. Yeah, he doesn't want to come closer, so we're just gonna shoot him when he turns around. And that's going down. And I don't think there are any more elk in the neighborhood here. How how do we get off this thing? Ah, let's take a look at this one. This is pretty similar too. Very small. The G3 seem to be big, all of them. This is a little bit to the back. And the position of this uh, G4 is different. 
first. Let's uh, check out uh, if they fixed the white tails. Yeah, they did. They did fix the white tails. That is nice. I got my big diamond here, 990. And he has his rack back. Very nice. We can take the diamond here. Where did he go? 993. We can put him here. These ones then. Yeah, this is a this is a level four. You can clearly see the difference with this one. This one is of course a diamond, and this is not. But I think uh, they have much smaller racks now. This one is a little bit bigger, but it's no comparison. We should have one with a different sign here. It's this one. Look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? They both have a... Look at the G1s and the G2. That is awesome, man. And they're the tip of the main beam. I think the main beam goes all the way to the wall there. That's really different. Yeah, so... We still have to accept that these racks are quite different and look at how different that looks from back here. So we don't have to be disappointed with these smaller racks I think and of course we still have to find a level 5 and I'm gonna work on that in a stream. If you wanna see me live stream you can follow my Twitch and you will get notifications when I am live and this is one of my favorites already. Check that out.